Hi guys, welcome to Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. Today we're in Great Langdale and we're going to head up to Stickle Tarn. As you can see in the background, we just buy a little gill that's coming down and there's supposed to be some lovely waterfalls and sec along the way. As usual, I've picked a steep one. This is supposed to be pretty steep all the way up, but it's about an hour's walk. Uh, so plenty of time to get up there. I'm not going to set any records. I'm just going to go steady away. Um, haven't been out proper for a while, so my fitness is probably going to be lacking a little bit. But yeah, I'm looking forward to having you guys along with me for the journey. So we'll crack on and we'll get some lovely views along the way up. So already we've come up that first little tiny bit of path. And as I spin you around, you can see we've got a lovely little waterfall already. I bet that uh, goes with some, some force after a heavy rainfall. And we'll just have a look up. Yeah, that's where we're heading for the night. Yeah, just having a wee pause on this bridge. Already, I'm only 15 minutes in, but some of the little waterfalls and pools, especially with the Langdales, the, the rolling hills of the Langdales all around us, absolutely stunning. So glad I've come here today. This is going to be a belter wee camp for this. Nice wee solo on my own. And there we go. Little sign there, I'll read it. Yes, it says rainwater running underneath the bridge is powering a hydro scheme at the bottom of the gill, creating an average of 360,000 kilowatt hours per year. It's enough green energy to power 90 homes. Every cloud has a silver lining. I bet that's even more pretty after. Uh, Decent bit of rainfall as well. Wow, I'm really struggling to uh, get my temperature right. One minute I'm sweating, uh, the next minute I'm cold if I take my jacket off. So I just stopped for a wee break by these little set of waterfalls. It's, uh, it's about 10 degrees, but there's a cool breeze. 
So a couple of minutes and I should be all right to go. Yeah, we are starting to gain a little bit of elevation now, as you can see in the background. Starting to get a half decent view into me and it is cooling down. Although I'm still sweating, I can feel the cold breeze against my forehead. So we are just about to reach the top of this little gill here. Um, a few more steps and it does hopefully level off a little bit. Then we've just got to go around the corner. We'll be at the top. So yeah, it looks like we've got a couple of people on what I believe is Pico Stickle. And we do have a little bit of mist or rain coming over the fells in the background. And we are just turning a corner. So we're going to lose this magnificent view towards Windermere. And I was hoping it was going to level off just a little bit. But oh no, it gets a little bit steeper. So I'm just going to crack on up there and hopefully we'll be at the town very soon. And yeah, looks like I've got a little bit of climbing to do. Yeah, be read. So yeah, we're going to cross this. So yeah, got across that little bit of a river, a little bit of a waterfall there, no problems. I had my fingers crossed it didn't cow in like, but I don't know whether you can see, but just up in the distance there, we're not far away at all, maybe five minutes. So I'll see who's at the top. Ooh. Oh, right, that's me at the top, finally. To be fair, it wasn't that bad. It's about an hour's walk. Um, the only thing is it's relentless stone steps all the way up. It's like being on the travel later for an hour. So it definitely gives the legs and the thighs a good workout. Oh, but definitely worth it for these views. So I'll spin the camera around and let you have a look. So yeah, that's where we've come from. We've now just got the view of uh, Windermere, just poking into view in the background. And we'll slowly spin you around. at this absolutely stunning we do have a little bit of rain in the air just spitting ever so slightly and I think I was incorrect before I think that is Pikerstickle and as you can see in the center of shot there we do have a couple of tents pitched up already and I think there is a another tent or a bivy bag over the other side so yeah, of course there's a little bit of rain in the air. I'm just going to have a wander for a pitch and get myself set up, I think. So yeah, I'm really glad I come up here today. Might not have clear skies, but I've said it once, I'll say it again. It don't matter what time of year it is. Cumbria and the Lake District is always absolutely stunning. Like, I think I found myself a perfect little pitch. However, as per usual, some idiot has decided to have a fire out in the Lake District Fells. So there's some rubbish in there. So as always, I'll tidy up after them, but too good a pitch to give up, I'm afraid. So yeah, I'm gonna get myself set up. So yeah, as you can see, we are losing the light and we do have a bit of cloud coming in ever so slightly but absolutely stunning, beautiful. And there we go, we're in the scarf one tonight. <laughs> Tactical duck is uh, keeping guard for the evening. <laughs> So, yeah, once again, uh, climate insulated static V 
with the OEX Leviathan EV900. Me cheap pillar, I've got me MSR trail shot water filter with us. And the OEX solar cook set for breakfast. We've got some muesli. And for tea tonight, we're on Expedition Foods. Spaghetti bolognese, 800 kilocalories. Expensive one at eight quid, but um, I found that they really do taste quite well. So we're going to give them another go tonight. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely loving this setup with the Scarp one. Um, Really happy with that kit. The only thing I might change for real hazardous winter camping is the uh, is the mat. Um, like I say, a couple of times now I've felt the cold come underneath. So maybe for uh, when it's snowing and really, really cold, I'm looking for a change there. But for now, I'm more than happy with that setup. So yeah, now we're set up. It's time to get my chair set up, sit down and just have a chill and take these views in. So I'll be putting the camera down for a wee while. Um, so I'll maybe bring you back when it's time for some food. Right, so that's me in the tent. It is absolutely pitch black outside now. Um, it's cooled down. It's slight drizzle, but um, getting rather cold on the hands. And I don't know whether the camera's picking it up, but uh, yeah, she's cold. So yeah, I've jumped in my tent. Not quite ready for something to eat just yet. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and chill. I've got a little bit of the signal, so I'll maybe have a little bit of a look on YouTube and see what's going on. Um, so, yeah, it'll be food time shortly, so I'll bring you back then. Right, guys, so it is food time. Time for the Expedition Foods Spaghetti Bolognese. Let's have a look. 250ml of water. So I'll get that boiled up. Uh, one thing I will mention to you, um, I got myself a Hydra Pack collapsible water bottle so i've obviously been down to the town to fill that up but this bit in the center as you can see is squishy so it it compresses down just to basically that that top side which is pretty good saving a lot of space inside the pack so um i'm pretty chuffed with that so yeah like i say i get the 250 ml of water boiled up i get it in the the pack get that dehydrated or rehydrated i should say um, and then we'll see what it tastes like. Right guys, Expedition Foods, spaghetti bolognese, 800 kilocalories, pasta in a tomato sauce with cooked beef mince. So I've had the uh, potato hot pot one of these before and it was probably the best one I've had so far. So kind of looking forward to trying these as much as you can like a dehydrated meal. So, yeah, it's sat for long enough, so let's get tucked in. It looks as though it's rehydrated enough. And it says it only takes five minutes, but I've given it about seven or eight minutes just to make sure. So it's still nice and warm as well. Tastes all right. Very tomatoey, which isn't a bad thing, but it, it, it's overpowering a little bit. But I think this will do me a good turn tonight. Hmm. Good. Mm. Like I say, the Expedition foods are a bit pricey. This one was seven ninety nine, but they are quite high in the calories. And for me, I think they uh, they taste quite a bit better than the rest of them. Although some of the firepot ones are quite good. So yeah, I'll get myself away and scram this. Right, that's my food settled. Um, it's getting on a bit now, I think it's about 8, half past 8, something like that. Uh, not really been following the time, just been chilling really. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to get my head down, get some, uh, get some good sleep. And as always, I'll be up and away early doors in the morning. Hopefully, the sky will clear and I might be able to get some night photography done before I set off in the morning. So, yeah, enjoy the drone footage and the photos that I managed to take. And we'll see you in the morning. I dare you to fix me I'm crossing the line again Falling on my knees No stranger to pain It's never ending It's only Well, good morning everyone. Didn't uh, sleep particularly well. I think I got off to sleep for about three hours. First time woke up about midnight and I had two stints of two hours. So yeah, I'm a bit bleary eyed this morning. It's about quarter past four in the morning. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna start getting packed up, get all my kit together um, and get ready to head back down the hill. All right, guys, that's me all packed up. You can see the area where the scarf was. That's all nice and clear. My backpack's all ready to go with the rubbish bag attached to it. And I have cleared out the rubbish out the fire pit as well. So, as always, and as it should be, I've left no trace. So, yeah, it's time to get myself down the hill and back to the car and get myself home. It's the end of another wild camping adventure. So, thank you very much for joining me on this one. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad. <laughs>